Hey guys, Seven Zoe Rocks here, and I'm sure everyone's making a video of this today, but I did see it and I did want to talk about it. Uh, so I uh, flipped on my phone, looking on Twitter, like I just seen a movie. I saw the nice guys. Go see it. It's a pretty good movie. Um, but came out of theater to see what I had missed, and uh, Cody Rhodes on his uh, Twitter account, the Prince uh, CGR, I think is what it is. Not the Stardust Count. Stardust Count did retweet th these tweets. Um, but on that account, the one that, you know, Cody uses for Cody stuff, not like Stardust, weird tweets like that. But he tweeted, the past 10 years have been quite the trek. But as of earlier today, I've asked for my release from the WWE. I'll speak further on the matter shortly. Thank you to all the pro wrestling slash sports entertainment fans worldwide. Thank you. So, big news. Cody Rhodes has asked for his release, which kind of sucks. Um... Very good talent, very underrated, given a lot of stupid gimmicks and done the best and made him really good, actually. So, um, that really sucks. I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm the biggest Cody Rhodes fan or whatever. I think he's good. I've hated the Stardust gimmick just because they went nowhere with it. And that's, I think, what really pissed me off, that he's kind of stayed as this character when I thought he could be doing a lot better stuff. But... I, I mean, I really enjoyed, like, when I first got into wrestling, when I was watching, you know, him and Mysterio, and uh, when he was dashing Cody Rhodes, and then he had the, you know, face guard or whatever, um, that feud, I remember thinking that was so great, I remember hating, you know, Cody Rhodes, because when I first started the wrestling fan, I was very for the faces and against the heels, um, but uh, I remember loving that, you know, uh, when this is earlier, but when Legacy broke up, it looked like, uh, out of, you know, besides Randy Orton, it looked like DiBiase was going to go the farthest, and then it seemed like just Rhodes came out of nowhere and really went farther than DiBiase did, and it was really surprising, but he was really good and talented, so it was really cool to see, and then they did, of course, where it looked like he, for a while, looked like he was going to win the world title when he was feuding with Orton, then, you know, he got fired or whatever, and then Gold Dust came in uh, to fight for his job, and then they had their insane, awesome match on Raw against the Shield uh, with Big Show interfering. I remember when they won the tag titles and, uh, you know, Rhodes, the Rhodes family. Uh, it was awesome. I remember loving that part, and I was like, awesome, man. You know, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust are doing great. Then they were going to have their big payoff match, and it seemed like it was just. Uh, it was a crappy finish. I forget what pay-per-view is that, but I remember it was a really crappy finish, and I was like, oh, okay, that kind of sucks. They did nothing with that feud. He became Stardust or whatever, and then it just seemed like, okay, this could go somewhere. Maybe he's going to freak out and just beat the crap out of Goldust, and then it just fizzled out, and then he was just Stardust forever. So I really hated that part. I just I hate the gimmick. I, I, I think he's really good and really talented, especially in interviews and stuff like with Stephen Amell. Um, the guy from Arrow, when they do stuff together, I thought he was great in character. And it's really cool because he kind of came up with a whole new move set to fit the Stardust character. And I think he did a great job with that. Um, but I just, I wanted so much better with him. And it just seemed like every time I came on the TV, it was just a job to someone or just do some stupid, like, weird thing. So I, I'm just disappointed with that, that he hasn't, that he never got to go as far as he could. And uh, I think he should have gone a lot farther. And, um... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know why he he wanted to release, get to, get released, or ask for his release. I mean, I remember, like, I feel like he tweeted, you know, at age 40 or something. He said he was going to hang it up, and that was going to be it. He wasn't going to teach or anything like that. Um, but it just seemed kind of out of the blue. And I, I believe he's 30 right now. And uh, hashtag thank you, Cody's already trending, which is awesome. Um, really happy for the guy. And I, I wish him the best. And I wish, you know, him and his wife, you know, going to great things. And I'm just, I'm just wondering though, like why he asked for his release and, uh, you know, he's done all this awesome, awesome, awesome work with, uh, charities and such. So maybe he just found, you know, a better, uh, career or whatever, not a career, but you know, maybe he just found like joy out of doing that. And that's awesome. Um, and I'm sure he's going to continue doing all that great stuff. So I'm really happy for the guy, but I'm wondering why he why he asked for his release. I'm wondering what was going on in his head, but I'm sure in the next few days we'll figure it out. Um, and he, like he said, he'll explain later. So um, let me know what you think of Cody Rhodes get, uh, asking for his release. Um, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Seven Dirty Rocks. Um, I think this is for it, it for him wrestling wise. I don't think he's gonna you know TNA or anything he's gonna like pick him up. Or I'm sure TNA's trying to pick him up. But I think it's, you know, he's done or whatever. But I wish him the best. And I think he's going to do a lot of great things uh, outside of the wrestling world. So thanks so much for watching. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So as always, have a nice day.